Hello, I'm Andrew Smith from Treescape Certified Arborist. Welcome to this week's edition of the Green Review. We do our best to keep our trees safe and healthy with, with various preventative measures such as cabling, bracing, pruning, and even fertilizing. However, there comes a time in every tree's life where it has to be removed. I'm joined on site here with one of our tree removal crews in taking down several large white pines. Now some might think that taking down such beautiful trees is an absolute shame, but if we take a really close look at these trees, we can see that they're not such healthy trees. They're absolutely riddled with dead wood, there's a lot of decay which leads to ants uh, getting into the, the wood and woodpeckers even coming in and contributing to the further of that decay. Some other contributing factors in taking these trees down is the fact that they're leaning right over top of the cottage property uh, with many targets below uh, the, the beaches here, the dock, uh, neighboring property. So there's a lot of traffic flow underneath these trees on a regular basis throughout the summer. The main thing we want to do is obviously keep our property safe. Now the natural process of these trees, if we leave them, they're going to fail. So what we're really doing here by taking them down is preempting this process and again keeping the trees safe for the property safe rather and we're also going to minimize the amount of damage that might happen to the surrounding trees if these trees were left just to fail on their own. Now a lot of questions that uh, that come up when we talk about tree removal uh, have to do with the timing of taking trees down. What's the best time of year to take the trees down? And really there is no bad time to take trees down, but as you can see with a really large project like this where we're dealing with very large pieces of wood and we're also dealing with heavy equipment to move the wood around, uh, a time of year such as this where the ground is frozen uh, is really good because it allows us to get the equipment in there and it also allows us to minimize the damage to the landscape below. The most important thing to remember when considering a removal of a tree is to consult a reputable certified arborist. This work is very complicated and very dangerous. When we're taking trees down, such as these large white pines, they have to come apart in, in very large sections. And it, it takes the skill and the knowledge that only a certified arborist will have. Although it's sad to see some of these grand specimens be taken down, it's reassuring to know that a lot of the material can be recycled in some way, shape, or form. A lot of this material will go for firewood, some of the chips will go into landscape gardens, some of the wood might even be salvaged. And if failing all of that, we might even find a spot uh, where, the, where the material can just compost back into the earth. And that's all the time we have for today's Green Review. Thanks for joining me. Until next week, here's your point to ponder. In a natural setting, trees will continually grow up around old mature trees to take over when they die. In an urban setting, this process isn't the same. So the next time you're thinking about taking a tree down, consider replacing it with a new tree. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew Smith. The Green Review is brought to you by Treescape Certified Arborists. We bring trees to life.